Hi. So in the previous section, we were able to add the shopping cart controller, which would allow the user to add to his cart and remove and show what's in his cart. In this section, we are going to make the checkout controller to get the address and payment information from each user. Now, while the shopping process is anonymous, when the user clicks on the checkout button, they will be required to register and log in. Users will expect that we will maintain their shopping cart information between visits. So we will need to associate the shopping cart information with the user when they complete the registration or login. This is actually very simple to do as our shopping cart class already has a method which will associate all the items in the current cart with the, an email. Then we will just need to call this method when a user completes the registration or login. So here, let's change this into email actually. And let's go ahead into our account controller. And add a method here. Private. So here is our migrate shopping cart method that we added. Now we will modify the login post method to, uh, to use the migrate shopping cart method when the user successfully uh, logged in. So add here migrate shopping cart model of email and also the registration registration. So yeah, here in the post uh, registration method. So if model is validated here, let's add it here. Now let's add a checkout controller. So here, click add and controller. Is it to be empty? And check out. Click add. And let's just delay the index here. We don't need it. Now, as you can see, I've added uh, some methods here. I added a address and payment get method and a post method. The uh, get method will uh, show will display a form to allow the user to enter the information, and the post method will validate the input and process the order. And also, I added a complete uh, method here, uh, which will be shown after a user has successfully finished the checkout process, uh, and uh, the view will include the user order number as the confirmation. So here in the post method for the address and payment, uh, we get the order and save it, and then we process this. We get the order from the user and save it, and then we process this order, and then redirect to complete uh, method here, which would allow which would allow us to uh, view the um, order number for the user. Now, after we build this, now let's add a view for address and payment. And here I'll show it to be edit and the model class to be order and click add. Now it would show us uh, this HTML page. Now let's uh, delete most of this because we don't need it. We are going to have our own edit page. So this page uh, has the shipping information here. We have a 50% discount if you use the promo code 50. We actually added a promo code here in the checkout controller. Uh, and if the user put the 50 uh, in the promo code and submit, he will submit his order 